hello friends welcome to coding host youtube channel in this video i will explain you a lead code problem remove element so in this question we will get integer array nums and an integer val so we have to remove all the occurrence of this val variable in the nums in place the relative order of the elements may be changed so we can see this example one in the input we are getting a array nums in which we have four elements and in the val variable we are getting three so from this array we have to remove all the occurrence of 3 and in the place of 3 from the beginning the next element will take place and in the return we only have to return the number of elements remaining so here they are telling that do not allocate extra space for another array and you must do this by modifying the input array in place with a big of one extra memory so we cannot make another array so first i will write the program and then i will explain you so first i will take a variable int p equal to 0 then i will take a for loop for int i equal to 0 and i less than nums dot length and i plus plus now in this for loop i will take a if statement if nums of i not equal to well so inside of this i will write like this nums of p equal to nums of i and p plus plus and in the return i will return this variable p now let's run the program so you can see that this program is working fine now let's see how this program is working so in the input we have this array in which we have four elements and we have to remove three from this array so first i have taken a variable p equal to zero so we have a variable p its value is zero then i have taken a for loop for int i equal to 0 so this for loop is starting from 0 value of i is 0 now inside of it we have a if statement if nums of i not equal to val so nums of i means element at index 0 at this index element is 3 and in the val variable element is also 3 so these elements are equal so this if condition is false and it will not execute after that i plus plus i will become 1 now it will again check that if nums of i not equal to val so this time at index 1 we have 2 and in the val variable we have 3 so 2 is not equal to 3 so this if condition is right and it will execute so in the array at nums of p we will store the element which is at nums of i so value of p is 0 so it means that in the array at index 0 so at index 0 we will store the element which is at index i so at index 1 we have 2 so now it will get stored at index 0 after that p will increment so p will become 1 after that i plus plus so i will become 2 now this if statement will again check that nums of i not equal to val so at index 2 we have 2 and in the val variable element is 3 so these elements are not equal so now this if statement is right and it will execute so now at index p which is 1 so now at index 1 we will store the element which is at index i and the index i is 2 so at index i we have 2 and we are storing this 2 at index 1 after that value of p will increment so it will become 2 after that i plus plus so i will become 3 now this if statement will again check that nums of i not equal to val so you can see here at index i which is 3 element is 3 and in the val variable we have the same element so this if condition is false and it will not execute after that i plus plus so i will become 4 so when this for loop will check that i is less than nums dot length so i is 4 and it is not less than nums dot length so this for loop will break and in the last we will return our variable p and its value is 2 so you can see that rest of the elements at index 2 2 will remain and at index 3 3 also remain but we do not have to care about these remaining elements because in the front we have the elements which we want and we have removed the occurrence of the well from the starting of the array so rest of the array will remain as it is and when we are returning the variable p which is 2 so it will only print the first two elements from the array time complexity of this program will be big of n 
because we are only using a single for loop and the space complexity will be big O of 1 uh, now let's uh, submit our program so you can see that our program has uh, submitted successfully thanks for watching